Hi, I'm Lisa Bratney Smith. Thank you for joining me for evening chair yoga. Today's practice is going to be an opportunity to stretch and open um, our bodies, lubricate the joints, and just treat ourselves gently in the waning moon that we are in in this month of April. Um, it's a nice opportunity to slow down from all the doing and doing and doing that we do in our daily lives. And just to slow down and allow ourselves to be gentle and find some stillness within ourselves. All right. So I have this little um, book, it's called Lunar Alchemy, that I was looking at earlier. And the beginning of it for the waning moon, it says, invitations of the waning moon. Let go and release what no longer serves you. Allow yourself to just be. Rest and hibernation are a form of growth. Make peace with the past to open up the roads for the future. And I thought that was a nice way to start our practice today. <laughs> So if you want to um, put your blocks under your feet for a little support, you can do that. Um, and then have your strap somewhere you can access it fairly easily. And feel free to sit back in your chair as we get centered. So we'll begin with rubbing the palms of our hands together, bringing focus and energy into the palms. And then take the fingertips and gently brush them across the forehead, temples, and cheeks, brushing away any worries or expectations. Bring the fingertips to the eyes, palms to the cheeks, turning your attention inward. And take a couple of deep cleansing breaths. When you're ready, you can float your hands down, either keeping your eyes closed or gazing softly downward. Extend your spine up tall, shoulders back and down. Lift your heart with each inhaling breath. Sitting bones sinking toward the earth with each exhale. We'll tune in with three ohms. Feel free to join in or just absorb the vibrations. Take another deep breath in. Take a moment to absorb the vibrations of the mantra as it connects us all as one. Allow yourself to settle here this Tuesday evening and set an intention for your practice, something you'd like to nurture or cultivate within yourself.
bringing your awareness back to the breath. Allow your inhale to bring you here, to this room, to this moment. Allow your exhale to release anything not needed for your practice today. With your next inhaling breath, allow the belly to soften and expand. And as you exhale, draw the belly toward the back. Follow your body's rhythm, expanding on the inhale, contracting on the exhale. With your next inhaling breath, expand the belly and open the ribs, reaching them out to the side. And as you exhale, contract the belly and relax the ribs. Follow your body's rhythm, expanding and opening, contracting and relaxing. With your next inhaling breath, expand the belly, open the ribs and lift the chest, creating space for your heart. And as you exhale, contract, relax and lower. Continue this full deep breath Expanding your lungs in all directions with each inhale. Completely releasing the breath with each exhale. As we continue this full deep breath, let's shift into the B breath where we extend the exhale by making the buzzing sound of a B. It's a nice sensation for the mouth and the head. And also is a way to extend the breath without really adding much effort to it. So I invite you to take a full breath in and then exhale with the buzzing sound. Wait patiently for the end of the breath and inhaling again. One more breath. Mm -hmm. 
When you reach the end of the breath, gently return to your natural breath. Taking a moment to notice any changes you feel in your mind or body. Remembering that our breath is always with us to help find those moments of peace and calm. Bringing your awareness to your right hand, allow the tips of the thumb and pointer finger to come together. And bring those fingertips to your heart center. Turning your attention deeper inward towards your heart. Looking within for your inner light and your inner joy. As you find that connection with the light within you, allow its warm glow to flow on the breath throughout your entire body. As you find that connection with your inner joy, allow it to radiate up onto your face in a smile. And breathe it out into the space around you. As we continue our practice, allow your light and joy to flow through each breath and movement, honoring all that you are in each moment. When you're ready, you can float your hand down, gently open your eyes. And let's move forward to the edge of our seat. My apologies for the doorbell. <laughs> and placing our feet on our blocks, we can scoot this out a little bit. We'll start with scrunching the shoulders up by our ears. And as you exhale, press the shoulders back and down. Inhale, lift and squeeze. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, lift and squeeze. Exhale, back and down. Let's bring the hands in front of the chest, palms facing down. Tuck the shoulder blades back and down, gently squeezing the scapula, strengthening the muscles around it, lifting the heart. Then let's press the elbows back toward each other, lifting the heart a little more, gently squeezing the center of the shoulder blades toward each other. Bringing out any tension. And opening the arms wide, turning the palms up, lifting the heart a little further, if that feels okay, drawing the lower corners of the shoulder blades down toward each other. Pressing through the palms, if that feels okay, flexing the wrist. Breathing into the heart, creating space. And let's bring the hands to the heart. Interlacing the fingers, press the palms out in front. Roll the shoulders forward, round the spine, drop the chin. Inhale, lift. The arms gently arching. Exhale round. Inhale lift. Exhale round. Once more lift. This time as you exhale, drop the chin, leaving the palms in the air. Soften the elbows and roll the upper corners of the shoulder blades toward each other, wringing out any tension. Soften the jaw and release the back of the neck. 
And if it feels okay, you could press the palms a little higher, listening to your elbows and shoulders, only going as far as feels safe and okay. With your next inhaling breath, lift the chin. And as you exhale, float the hands down. Let's make some big circles with our arms. Gently squeezing the shoulder blades together as they come down the back. And then let's reverse the circles. And then when you come back to the center, we'll bend at the elbows and just make some gentle circles with the elbows. Then reverse those circles. And then let's make circles with the wrists. And reverse those circles. Let's squeeze the hands into fists and spread the fingers wide. Then squeeze and spread the fingers wide. Once more, squeezing the fists and spread the fingers wide. And then you can shake out those hands. Let's lengthen the spine up tall. And as you exhale, drop the right ear over the right shoulder. Tuck that right shoulder back and down, lifting the heart, letting the head tilt to the right. As you breathe into the left side of the neck. If it feels okay, you could reach that left hand down, taking hold underneath your seat, pulling gently, just allowing the shoulder to drop a little more as you release the neck. And if it feels okay, you could extend the right arm out to the side, bending at the elbow, and then placing the right hand on the left ear gently. Lifting the heart softening through the left side of the neck. With your next inhale, release the right hand, bringing the head back to the center, release the left hand. Take a breath in and out. Lengthening the spine up tall with your inhale. As you exhale, drop the left ear over the left shoulder. Tucking that left shoulder back and down, lifting the heart, breathing into the right side of the neck. Hold and breathe. Relaxing and releasing through the breath. If you'd like, you can drop the right hand by the side, taking hold underneath the seat, drawing down gently with the hand, releasing the neck a little bit more. Excuse me, as you pull with the hand, it draws the shoulder down. Not going into pain, just allowing a little added tension. And if it feels okay, you could extend the left arm out to the side, bending at the elbow, placing the left hand on the right ear gently without pulling. Heart stays lifted. 
breathing into the right side of the neck. With your next inhale, release the left hand, bringing the head back to the center and release the right hand. Take a breath in and out. Let's place the left hand on the side of the chair. I'm gonna pick up my jacket real quick. And with your next inhale, lift the right arm up by your ear. Exhale, reaching across the body, supporting with that left hand. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, extend across. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Hold and breathe, dropping that right hip, lift the heart. Chin comes gently away from the chest. Vision toward the fingertips if that feels okay for your neck. And with your next inhale, lift up tall. And exhale, float the hand down. We'll rest that right hand on the side of the chair. And with your next inhale, bring your left arm up by your ear. Exhale, reaching across the body. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Hold and breathe. Dropping that left hip toward the chair, lift the heart. Chin gently away from the chest as the fingertips reach across the ceiling. Vision toward the fingertips as much as feels okay for your neck. With your next inhale, lift up tall. And as you exhale, float the hand down. Bring the left hand to the right knee, right hand behind the, or behind this, either taking hold of the seat or the back of the chair. Face forward, deep breath in. And as you exhale, twist for the right, head comes around left. Lifting the heart with your inhale, twisting gently with your exhale. Hold and breathe. With your next inhale, if it feels okay, turn your chin over your left shoulder. Releasing the breath. Inhale back to the right. Releasing the breath. And then inhale the torso back to the center. Letting the breath go. We'll bring the right hand to the left knee. Left hand to the back to the seat or the back of the chair. Inhale, lift the heart. And as you exhale, gently twist through the ribs toward the left. Head comes around left. Lifting your heart with your inhale. Gently twisting through the exhale. Hold and breathe. Finding that edge between flexibility and inflexibility. With your next inhaling breath, turn your chin over your right shoulder if that feels okay for your neck. Letting the breath go. Inhale back to the left. 
letting the breath go. And then gently turning the torso back to the center with your inhale and letting the breath go. Let's go ahead and take hold of our strap. Let's express the, or scoot the um, right block out, or sorry, the foot, <laughs> the block under your right foot out a little so the leg can extend and feel supported. We'll point the toes and flex and point and flex. Once more, point and flex. Think about squeezing those toes, curling them down, and then lifting and spreading them wide, curling them, spreading them wide, once more curling, and spreading them wide. And let's make some circles with our ankle. And reverse the circle. Then we'll take the strap and wrap it underneath the arch or um, ball of the foot, whichever feels best for you. And we're gonna lift the foot, extending it out parallel to the floor if that feels okay for you, lower if that feels better. So doing what feels right for your body right now. We're gonna lift the spine tall, shoulders are back and down, draw the belly muscles toward the back, Gently pulling the strap just as much as feels okay and allowing the heel to release and press away. So the foot is pulling back toward you as you release the back of the leg. Softening through the calves and the Achilles tendon. Being careful not to have the knee locked, allow it to be slightly bent. And we're going to take hold of the strap in the right hand and take hold of the chair in the left. And gently draw the leg out to the side just as far as feels okay, using that left hand to anchor you. See if you can soften through the inner groin as well as the outer groin, letting the strap and your arm do the work of lifting and holding. And we'll bring the leg back to the center. We're gonna switch hands, take hold of the strap with the left hand. We'll lift that right arm up and take hold of the back of the chair, gently twisting the torso toward the right, lifting the heart, tucking the shoulder blades down the back as you gently twist. And with your next inhale, come back to the center. We'll lower the leg down so the heel is on the block, keeping the foot flexed, we'll lift the spine tall, and then hinging at the hip, folding forward. I need to come a little closer on the edge of my seat so you can adjust as well as you need to. Lengthening through that right leg, pressing through the heel, and extending the spine out over the leg just as far as feels okay. If it feels okay, you could round the spine a little bit, folding over a little more, listening to what your body needs right now. And with your next inhale, lift up tall. We'll release the strap and draw the block in gently. And then we're gonna take hold, hold underneath the right leg, interlacing the fingers if that feels okay. You could also use the strap instead if you wanted to. So 
either works fine. And we're just gonna make some slow, gentle circles with the hips, allowing the arms to do the work. Sometimes our leg and hip muscles have a hard time letting the rest of the body do the work. <laughs> And then we'll reverse those circles. And coming back to the center, let's gently hug the knee in. You can have the hands behind the knee or in front of the shin, lifting the spine. And then we'll lower that leg down. Just take a moment to notice how the right and the leg, left legs feel the same or different. And we'll extend the left leg out, extending that block out, resting the heel on it. We'll point left foot and flex and point and flex once more point and flex and we'll begin to make some slow gentle circles with the ankle and reverse the circle and then coming back to the center, so I'm gonna adjust my block a little. We will scrunch the, or curl the toes in, holding them tight, and then spread them wide. Curl them in, spread them wide. And once more, curl them in, and spread them wide. Then we'll take the strap and wrap it around either the arch or ball of the foot, whatever feels right for you. Lifting the spine, tall shoulders back and down. Belly muscles are strong, engaging those to help keep the torso lifted and also help to lift the leg as we um, begin to lift that leg. We wanna have the strap use most of it or do most of the work, but if we don't have the belly engaged, then we tend to kind of slump with it. So keeping that spine tall and belly engaged can help. We're gonna soften through the back of the leg, pressing the heel away, letting the, the strap draw the toes toward the face. Soften the shoulders if they're scooching up by your ears. Again, being careful not to lock the knee, but to get as much length in the back of the leg as feels okay for you right now. Notice your breathing. Allow it to go all the way into the belly. And we'll pray, place the strap in the left hand and take hold of the right side of the chair as our anchor. And then gently bring the left leg out to the side just as far as feels okay. Spine is lifted, shoulders are soft. And then actively release through the inner groin and the outer hip. Let's use the strap to bring the leg back to the center. We'll switch hands, placing the strap in the right hand, reaching through the heel. We'll lift that left arm up and back to the back of the seat, lifting the heart, twisting through the ribs, looking back toward the back of the chair, just as far as feels okay for your neck. Hold and breathe. And with your next inhale, come back to the center. Let's lower the heel down to the block. 
Lifting the spine tall, gently pulling on the strap. We'll hinge at the hip, folding forward as we exhale. Hold and breathe, lengthening through the spine, softening through the back of the leg, just as far as feels okay. If it feels okay for your back, you can let it round, dropping the head. And then with the next inhale, lift up tall, we'll release the strap and bring the block back toward us. You can put the straps down and let's spread the um, blocks a little wider. Coming to the edge of the seat, we'll work with a seated malasana squat. So you can stay here if that's what feels good for your body today. You could bring the forearms onto the, um, the thighs, gently tilting forward. If it feels okay, you could bring the elbows um, on the inside of the knees or thighs, bringing the hands to the heart, gently pressing the hips open. Spine stays nice and long. Root through the feet. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Notice where you might be holding on in the hips and see if you can let go or soften just a little. And if it feels okay, you could bring the hands to the block, rounding the spine, dropping the chin. Releasing into a forward fold just as far as feels okay. And then we'll gently roll the spine up, shoulders up and back and down, bringing the feet gently back together. Just realized we forgot the hip circles on the left side, so let's do that before we end. Hands underneath the thigh of the left leg, lifting it up gently and making some gentle circles. And again, you could use the strap for this as well, if that feels better. And reversing the circles. Coming back to the center, drawing the knee in just as far as feels comfortable toward the chest. Spine is lifted, shoulders are soft. And then we'll lower that foot down. Take a breath in and out. We'll just kind of shake out any tension or stress that might be left in the body. Shake the head and shoulders, the arms and legs. And when you feel ready, you can either uh, move back in your seat into a seat of Shavasana or turn the chair um, to put your legs up on the chair for um, the legs up the chair, Vipareta Karani relaxation. So whichever version feels right for you today. Again, if you are 
pardon me, if you're using the chair, sitting with your shoulder and hip on the side of the chair and turning with the feet in the air and resting them on the seat of the chair and rolling your spine back. If you would like to cover up at all, you can do that or use an eye pillow. Arms slightly away from the body with the palms turned up. Tuck your shoulders back and down. Relax your forehead. Soften your eyes. Loosen your jaw. Gently bring your awareness back to the breath. Allowing each inhale to fill you with a sense of peace and calm. Allowing each exhale to release anything that no longer serves you. Release the muscles from the bones, surrendering them to the earth, feeling its strength and support beneath you. If you would like to receive Reiki through the rest of the Vasana, please open yourself to receive it now. Let the breath bring you back to your heart center. Reconnecting with the light and joy that always reside deep within your heart. Let each breath fill your heart with loving kindness for yourself. Sending that loving kindness to each and every cell of your body. Honoring all of who you are in this moment.
Gently begin to rub all your fingers and toes. Stretch in whatever way feels comfortable for you. Gently roll to your side, resting there for a moment. And then gently return to a seated position. We'll end with a meta blessing of loving kindness. Please feel free to join in. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings have peace. May all beings awaken to the light of their true nature. May all beings be free. The light in me honors the light in you. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. For our world, for our community, and for ourselves. Well, thank you so much for taking this time for yourself. And don't need me to work.